Welcome back to JHD Slayer, everybody. So, I have a very special, awesome, exciting episode for you guys today. You are gonna freaking, you're gonna love it. So, I made some purchases a while back, back in like May, um, and it took this long to get these rigs here. Um, didn't plan to be that long. I thought I was gonna get them, be done, pop them up, or pop them over here, get them shipped down, whatever. Didn't work that way. Had to wait on background check, all this stuff. So you guys are gonna be like, the, the options are endless with these things I got coming in here. So I got Tim from GNS Hauling bringing them down for me. And uh, wait till you guys see these things. They are sick. They are like awesome. I cannot freaking wait. So on top of that, guys, thank you so much for the merchandise. Uh, you guys have been purchasing merchandise. It's been great. We're gonna keep it coming. We've got some fresh stuff coming out for you guys, but we still have the this side up mud truck shirt. We've got the finishyourlift.com shirt, which is one of my personal favorites. And also we got the JH Diesel snapback still. A couple mechanic shirts left and uh, we're still rocking them. So again, don't forget that this will enter you to win a Dodge Ram SRT10 pickup truck through baldeagle.com. So if you're gonna be ripping around in a stick shift V10 SRT10 Viper truck, then all you gotta do is buy some merchandise. Remember, one entry for every $5 you spend. So you buy 10 shirts, whatever, five shirts, whatever, doesn't matter, hats, whatever, you're gonna get multiple entries in to win this truck. So good luck guys, thank you so much, and I really hope you guys enjoy what we have coming in right now because I am freaking ecstatic. Check it out guys. guys so i have been waiting on this load for what when, when, when did we get back in may i think yeah, like it was the beginning of tim may. here gns hauling gentry and sons check out their channel too they are always hauling some cool stuff and we literally i think i i got him in may i called him like the next day and i was like i was like hey man i got these two trucks coming i need you to get over there like get them get them get them and then the government was like no hold on we can't we can't do that so i had to pass a background check and all this stuff but um what happened was I was really only intending to buy one and uh, I really wanted the tractor trailer version, the one with the, the, the hitch on the back. I really didn't care for the cargo one much because I kind of got that deuce and a half I got already. But um, I was like, well, when I went to go purchase them, that one was not running. And then the deals were actually going really good that day and there was really nobody bidding on them that day. So I ended up just buying two and uh, it worked out pretty good. Um, Tim said, you said these things, they both run. This one didn't run, but he already got it running for me. Said there's like a wire or something. Yep, can you can go on my channel and see the wheel at start on it. <laughs> <laughs> you got a wheel at start? All right, guys, go on this channel, check out the wheel at start on there, because they messed around with them at the uh, facility and got them running and everything. This so one. Had, had, uh, that guy walked over. He walked over and he said, like they were shutting the gates, like did not care one of this out of there. He said 20 minutes. Um, we'd already had this one on, but it was like 17 foot tall with that bed on the back. Yep, yep. So he said 20 minutes and we're locking the gates. Like literally down to the minute, drug this one on with a chain with it running because you know, the wire wasn't hooked up. And we pulled out of the gate with like 30 <laughs> seconds to spare. They That's so <laughs> awesome, dude. That is so awesome. Yeah, they, they're, they're pretty strict on their uh, pickup times and everything. They were like... They only opened a few hours a day, like I think six hours a day. Yeah. And he drove from Tennessee, obviously, went to North Carolina to pick him up. That was like a six hour drive. And then he had to bring to me, which is like 10 or 11 hour drive. So um, kind of on a time frame too on that. And uh, for him being there, and then they were like, no, you know, you just have to wait. He had to sit there for a whole nother day before he could grab him. So we had to get him at the same time. It didn't make sense. And I only planned to buy one and I was gonna get it myself. But whenever I bought two, I was like, well, I know who to call. <laughs> Cause I can't, take, I can't haul two. So. so yeah we we did so it was the beginning of you called me right before we went on race week 
Yep. The yep. first time. So yeah, the beginning. The first was, race week. Yeah. And then yeah, it was the first race week of this year. I called him, said, "Hey man, I got these trucks, this and that." And then little did I know, I found out that the government was like, "No, you're not allowed <laughs> to get them." I was like, down, big time. "Damn." So how long is this going to take? And originally they told me to take like uh, 30 to 45 days. So I was like, "All right, 30 to 45 days. We're talking a month, month and a half, whatever. Have a middle of summer." Well, then when I called back at day 60, they were like, no, 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 it's 65 business days. So I'm like, here we go. So anyways, ended up finally getting passed. Everything was checked through. Everything was good. I'm not, you know, a felon or anything. So that worked out pretty well for me. I was able to get these trucks. So, uh, wait till you hear these things. They yeah, sound, they sound awesome. Oh my God. They're, they're both, I believe they're 3126 cats yep. is what's in them. Um, automatic Allison transmissions in them probably most likely so straight pipe straight they're already straight pipe you mean they don't have dpfs on them nope, nope. oh man who would have thought <laughs> and these are newer model trucks too yeah i think 2002s and 2003s so um i can already tell though the pipes are cool and all but i feel like a nice big stack would be oh, pretty yeah. sick on this That's thing true. what are you looking at look at the snorkel that thing's like as tall as the cab dude the four-wheel drive on these things worked phenomenal <laughs> like it was that one drug this one up here like it was nothing and then it just crawled right up the trailer like it will literally just as long as it gets grip it just goes fire me up i'm so excited right now hell yeah this is awesome these things are sick so one thing is the batteries are completely junk on these things like they had to uh, jump start them he said as soon as they jump started them they um they would run but he's like literally there's no battery power to him so the batteries are junk i already talked to my battery guy he's not he hasn't got down here yet because he didn't know how big of batteries we needed did they pull the covers off these were they were the covers already gone in the back. they yeah. are in the back so what we're going to do is i'm going to measure because these batteries are like 600 dollars a piece from the military so what i'm going to do is is um i'm going to see what uh what i can get as far as like a regular old battery um we're gonna see if we can convert it over to like a 94 series or something to where we don't have to pay you know 600 dollars a battery trying to keep it like 150 200 bucks a battery but um that's really like the only major issue other than the wire and the other one that's broken and uh i got my battery guy now we're gonna measure this we'll get the battery trays on them try to get them fired up unloaded and uh see how they run maybe take it for a rip down the road if we can All right, so we got one truck, two trucks, the charger on it. We got all the batteries disconnected right now. We're going to see if we can pull one or two back to life. I don't know. It's just kind of guessing at this point because they might all be bad. Who knows? But so far, I did get one to pull up. It started dropping again, but I got one to pull up, and they're all picking themselves up. So hopefully, I just got like one with a dead cell and it's dragging everything down, maybe two. We got eight batteries total because we got two trucks. So if we can yank those batteries out, slap them in here, get this one off the trailer then yank the other ones out slapping the other truck that'd be perfect and i got batteries on the way um they're just not here yet and it's gonna be a little bit before they're here so we're trying to get them loaded before the, we have to deal with that all right so we got both the trucks on here and the batteries really aren't one to hold a charge so we figured we try to jump start and see what she does go for it ha. there you go Hey Ron, sounds good. Riding at 14? So we got 14 volts out of it. be able to drive it off hopefully it stays running they would stay running the yard but maybe we got enough charge in it now i don't know right off they didn't even try to stay running that's crazy i can't believe that huh yeah right Well, we can 
uh, we'll fire it back up and see if we gotta hook one of the trucks maybe. And then we can just follow you off. Yeah. You got Yeah, we had to put both trucks on it. But it won't, it died as soon as you undo them. It's staying right on one. We're gonna try to follow it off, basically. You know what I mean? Sit down again. Yeah. right next to them with the cables hooked up. That would be perfect. Something I would own would definitely have that problem. Hey, follow me up the gear. Yeah, we're going to go over the Freedom Factory just like this and just rip next to each other. Oh. Alright, so since I have no idea half the stuff on this truck, I'm sure I'll learn it, but he, Tim, has already learned it, so he's going to show me a couple things. Yeah, so here's your on-offs. Like, this is your power. Okay. Which is kind of weird, but ups, off. And then down is on. Okay. It turns everything on. And then to start it, you gotta have this green switch down and then hit this red button right here. What's the green switch do? Uh, it turns all the power to like from the fuse box. So it's to got here. like main power, yeah. fuse box power, cluster power, all that kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah. yeah. So then you got your lights, um, low idle, high idle, um, engine brake, warm up, Ooh, which fire it, you know, up. turns the engine brake on. Hit the J brake on this rig? Yep. And then you got like all your lights are right here. And then if you want to switch over to 12 volt power, okay, um, this is the switch for that. That's cool. And which because everything in here is 12 volt. I yeah, don't, I don't know what's 24 volt on it. I don't, I don't understand what is 24 volt yet. I just we don't know much about it yet. We're gonna learn. Uh, you want to show me all the cab stuff? You said the cab stuff was pretty freaking cool. Oh yeah, huh? that's the coolest part. Of the truck. So we'll go around this other side here. Me being a cab over guy, <laughs> you know, I don't have this luxury on my cab overs. But. All right, so this is cab release. See so, yeah, that come up? So you push and turn that for the cab release. Yep. yep. And then cab tilt, and then which, and then put this in raise, and then this is. Is this tilting the cab right now? Is that what it's doing? It will. It's it. It'll, you'll hear it take off here in a second. Gotcha. It's got build up pressure. I think it might be a little long. I'll go out quick because it was slow yesterday. So. It was low yesterday? Whenever I bought it, they said there was an oil leak somewhere. So I don't know if it was. And that might be where we had a leak before we loaded it, right? That might be. Let's start it. Yeah, so we might have put some alcohol foot in it, but once it gets foot in it, this thing just... It right just goes up. right up. I guess we can yeah. mess with that one, huh? Yeah, that one. We can show on that one. Yep. So you can do that, and I think you said the spare tire literally is all like... Yeah, it, it just off. unloads it by itself. So if Brand spanking new spare tire, by the way. If you want to lower the spare tire, it comes all the way down. <laughs> and awesome. then suspension, like you can raise it like six or seven inches. So it's got airbags. It's got airbags, dude, air ride. Um, and then so here's sick. Your, which, you know, you, it's time. You just got to play with it. Figure out, yeah. I had a little bit of time yesterday to play with it because, uh, you know, we're trying to get them running. Oh, look at that. You even got air truck in there. Oh, dude. Dang, I didn't oh, know dang. that. Oh, dang. Well, it's broken, I think. Somebody gutted her. Somebody gutted her. Well, no, actually, probably not because the way these things are set up. Yeah, it probably just screws yeah, on. Yeah, probably screws on. Yeah. That's cool. So, I mean, it's amazing. The technology look at this. and. There's like a hydraulic pump for, I wonder if that's for, for, the, cab. for the cab. So you can yep. pump it up like a jack. Emergencies, if uh, you know the pump ain't working or something, that didn't work. I haven't even sat in here yet. Let me climb up in this rig. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're 
definitely gonna have to put your kind of step on it, which is bigger tires. Bigger tires, I definitely think, would that's be the ticket. That's hundred percent the bigger ticket, right? The bigger, bigger step is the ticket. Dude, look at this thing. I feel like a big truck driver right now. It's got killer brakes too. Really? The brakes, the pads, so I, they look new. Oh man, this thing has got some killer brakes. So I think it's got, it's definitely got heat. I don't think it's got air though. I don't know, we'll see. I think it's the other one that might have. The, the other one? I think I've seen AC. I could be wrong. Could yeah. Be wrong. Dude, fire me up. So this thing too, um, push these buttons. It actually is for the tires and it'll put your air pressure at where it thinks it needs to go. You got run flat mode, um, emergency mode, sand, XC, and highway. So, pretty awesome feature. Yeah, so when I got there, these things were like pretty much flat. The tires were flat? Yeah, and then I put it in highway mode, and within, by the time the truck aired up, I'd say two minutes after that, it was, they were already all lifted. That's awesome. Couple minutes and everything airs up. Look at this freaking thing. It's actually, the cab is huge. It's a damn extended cab. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, the third seat, all that stuff. Yeah, holy there. crap, dude. Look at this. You've got this. a talent for buying stuff. I'll give this. you that. <laughs> Definitely a good purchase. Yeah. I wonder if I can. Oh, did I just bend that? Oh, you pull it out. Yeah, pull it out. Oh, my God. I didn't even know it went back. Look at that. All right. Yee. Fire me up, dude. I'm going to have to feel this rig. You said up. Wait, power on. And then you said this up? Yep, down. Down? Yep, and then right back and started. Very little bead right in a little bit. Um, and then like right oh, here. Oh wait, did I miss something? So right here is your four wheel drive. No, you should be. Are we hooked up? Let me make sure. It might have popped off. That would do it. Oh, there we go. Uh, we're pretty dead right now though yeah and then so here you go like your two-wheel drive mode and then four-wheel drive and then four-wheel crawl nice nice and uh which it'll give you a three different modes right here and uh, she shifts good you actually got to go through the gears yeah. and stuff yeah cool. i went through three gears yesterday here's cool. the horn nice so i guess um, meet me had to put an air horn on her horn blasters yeah. call them boys up all right, let's get the other one unloaded and you guys can get out of here. All right, so finally got the uh, trucks all unloaded. Everything's all done. It ended up being a late day yesterday, but we got it all knocked out. Everything is good. This truck is running like flawless. It runs freaking beautiful. So I actually took it up the road last night. I'll show you a clip of that. But uh, really, I mean, you guys can hear the outside. Take a look at it running down from the open. You guys see it leave. And uh, what a freaking unit. This one we're still working on. We figured out a couple broken wires, so we're working on fixing that now. There's a valve missing for the tire, so we can air the tire and everything up. And uh, it should actually turn out really freaking good. So let's go rip, let's see for a rip, and uh, see how she runs. hoods open yet to really look we got them halfway open but uh we don't know if it's got the ac compressor or not some trucks did come with them some did not it's definitely got heat and the vents and it's got a blower motor so a lot more than the old deuce and a half had we're gonna take it up the road again just kind of see how she runs in the daytime dude actually it does not ride bad screening complete how this thing does again in the daylight <laughs> dude what a ripper check into like
like came on pretty instantly. It's kind of coming on and off, but uh, not sure what that's all about yet, but it didn't seem like it takes any power from the truck away. It definitely is uh, quite a rig. to see here nothing to see here it's just a little truck All right guys, so you guys see it. My uh, first major purchase here for the channel. And uh, these things are awesome. I hope you guys are prepared to see what these things are made of because you know I don't buy anything and don't test it. You know we test everything that we have on this channel. And we're gonna put it through some of the most rigorous testing you can imagine. I might even let one of my buddies drive this thing. Let's see what happens. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching the channel. Hope you guys Really enjoy the new purchases. I hope you guys enjoy what we're gonna do with them. And uh, God, look at that freaking thing, dude. Just a beast, just such a freaking beast. So, uh, sorry guys, this thing's awesome. I like this one a lot, I like the tractor trailer one. Anyways guys, thank you for watching JC channel. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the show and we'll see you next time.